skin breathes, correct? Right through the, right through the skin. How come so many people don't realize that whatever they put on the skin goes right through their skin? Well, there's a conspiracy against the truth in the world. There's a con- conspiracy against knowledge. There are interests, fi- very strong financial interests that don't want people to be educated, whether it be in you know, public school or anywhere else. Uh, it's not in pharmaceutical companies' interests or in the medical industry and interests for people to know about safe, inexpensive things that cannot be patented and can never be equaled by the pharmaceutical companies. Is baking soda patented by Arm & Hammer? No, no. It's, not, it's, a, it's a natural thing. You can't patent something that's... There's nothing added to it. It's something they mine out of the earth might go through some process, but it's basically pure sodium bicarbonate. Can you patent gold? I mean, <laughs> okay, I got it. it. It's a rare element. It's uh, you can buy it by the ton. You can buy. I mean, it's so inexpensive, and you actually for, for for medical purposes you need very little of it. So it's an amazing thing, and um, in the. Uh, oncologists have been using it forever. They it's almost never, I mean, anytime you do radiation treatments or chemotherapy, they usually use bicarbonate. Why? Because the bicarbonate protects the person from the toxicity of the radiation and the chemotherapy. If you spill chemo or chemo chemical on the floor, they clean it up with sodium bicarbonate. Right now, we have so much radiation from the microwave stations that are all over the place to cell phones everywhere, to computer networks, to what's going on with HARP and other types of technologies. There's a lot of radiation in the air. There's also a lot of uranium and other types of particulates in the air that if you don't investigate, you don't know. So could this help in keeping it from being absorbed too much in the body? Obviously, the levels are all key, but what do you think about baking soda helping prevent the absorption of all of these radioactive materials? Sodium bicarbonate is something that should be added to any protocol. Unless unless you're on a pure raw food diet and your pH is already totally uh, normal, like at 7.4 or something, um, sodium bicarb, and even then, as you say, the radiation levels are, are vastly increased. The cell phones, the uh, uranium oxide from the insane use of depleted uranium weapons has polluted the northern hemisphere much more than they will admit. Much, much, much more. Even flying today, they said there's such huge amounts of radiation for travelers who are flying by airplane. It's totally different than it was even five years ago. It's very sad. The whole body scanners, that's going to just finish people, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't go through one. I wouldn't travel. I would never travel internationally if I had to get a vaccine. And the same goes for a full body scan. It's just, I'd rather stay home. I'd rather stay home. There are some people that have to travel. And I'm finding out from Homeland Security, actually, if we can be pat down versus having to go through those machines. Because... I would rather be pat down than be radiated. Oh, sure. (laughs) Any day. So I have a question that really perplexed me in your book on sodium bicarbonate. In it, it talks about the fact that carbon dioxide helps well-being, that it actually helps increase your carbon dioxide level and that that increases your well-being. And there's evidence for this. This flies in the face of the whole EPA new law declaring that carbon dioxide is toxic and should be outlawed. Not to get into climate science, although I know you have a site about that too, but on a medical level, can you talk about carbon dioxide and how it helps well-being? Yes, it's it's actually the opposite of what everybody thinks. Even my wife, who's a yoga teacher, had a hard time with this, with the physiology. Uh, sparkling water, when you drink sparkling water, uh, what is it? It's CO2 injected into the water. You can get that naturally, or people normally buy it, or you can make it at home. 
And CO2, and, and they have, and I, I actually I published a study the other day about this, which is uh, showing how sp- drinking sparkling water in, uh, decreases the level of co- uh, bad cholesterol in, in the blood and increases the level of good cholesterol. Now, why is that? When you drink, when you drink uh, sodium bicarbonate and goes into the stomach, mixes with water, it turns into CO2 gas. What somebody wrote me when I was writing the book, well, this is the reason you can't, it's just a waste of time to use bicarbonate. But he didn't understand that CO2, oxygen and CO2 levels are paired. You, if you have a decrease in CO2, you can have a decrease in oxygen carrying capacity. If you cannot give pure oxygen to somebody in a tank without killing them, you have to put in CO2 gas. It's an essential nutrient to all plants and is essential for human uh, physiology. There are three, three uh, uh, molecules. There's CO2, there's bicarbonate, which is HCO3, and there's bicar- bicar- um, carbonic acid, which these three different... CO2 turns into carbonic acid, and carbonic acid turns into... Uh, uh, Bicarbonate and bicarbonate turns into CO2. These three things are interchangeable and are changing at the speed of light in human physiology. The one is turning into the other. So really, we're talking the same thing. We're talking CO2, we're talking bicarbonate. The body needs, needs, it's absolutely necessary for life to have CO2 in the body. And one, one of the things that happens when people don't breathe right and most people who are chronically ill and not breathing right, is they actually decrease their level of CO2, which depresses oxygen. So I hope I'm being clear, but it's, it's an, there's no life on the earth without CO2. Plants, if this is food for plants, this is what they, they eat. They eat CO2. We need the CO2 also. So this whole thing, this is just you know, a ridiculous plot. The you know, like vaccines, these, these elite people decided to pick on CO2, one of life's most. You might as well pick on water, and they do that. They put poison in the water, and they don't like water, so they they poison it. They're crazy. I mean, <laughs> fluoridation of water is an insane and very cruel idea. And, and labeling CO2 is, uh, as a poison gas and that we should tax, make slaves of uh, everybody in America to pay carbon taxes. I mean, pollution is a problem. And, but they talk about the CO2, which is a, a necessary gas, and they don't say anything about the mercury coming out of the smokestacks, coal-fired smokestacks or crematoriums or you know, uh, local incinerators that are just bellowing out mercury into the atmosphere. That's a poison gas. That's a poison material. Could sodium bicarbonate baking soda get mercury out of the body, or is there something to help with that that's speedier? Well, it, uh, bicarbonate, if a, a person is acidic, you need to bring them back one way or another to an alkaline state. Everything you do in the body, every physiological process is pH sensitive. So if you're acidic, it's more difficult to get rid of heavy metals. If you bring it back to an alkaline, everything will function better, including the elimination system. But yes, the the other question is like, I've developed a a system of medicine called natural allopathic medicine, and its principal agents is sodium bicarbonate, iodine, and magnesium chloride. And I don't use them independently. I always, in my protocol, use the three together. So, for instance, specifically magnesium. If you mix magnesium, uh, one of the most healing substances on the planet is called magnesium bicarbonate. It exists in seawater. If you take magnesium chloride and sodium bicarbonate, well, together or di- differently, you put it all in the bath together. These are it's a perfect medical or uh, medicinal combination. And when you combine something like that, 
answer to the question is is easier to make, meaning, yes, bicarbonate with magnesium chloride is going to vastly improve one's, one's defense against radiation, uh, chemical toxicity, emotional